You're on the show with me, 2021. I turn on the BET Awards. You're performing with Sean Cohn. Yeah. I said, he's doing a power move because then I saw the flag of Belize come That's down. Right. And I said, this is not about bad boy. This is about him showing the world. It's about Belize. But then yeah. there's a clip of Sean Combs calling you his brother. Yeah. Um, and people are questioning the relationship. I wish I was his brother in, in 2000 when we were on trial. <laughs> and, and, um, you know, I, 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 wish, I, I wish I was his brother for the last, you know, 26 years when, you know, my mom, who uh, is here with me, uh, never got any assistance. Uh, nobody ever, he never helped to, to try her tears. He, Why did you was, agree to go on with him at the BT? Because I moved on. So you don't, you don't live in those... Or spaces uh the documentary was very yeah the, the, the documentary the documentary was very emotionally draining yeah. but part of my, my what i owe to to your audience which is like one of the most lit is that what the young people say <laughs> the most, the most lit? he said the audience i said they came because you they want to hear you guys, you guys are incredible, incredible. What it do, YouTube? is coffee. Back at it. And man, I feel Shine on this, right? We seen Funk Flex get all turned up, calling Shine a liar, trying to call him a punk, this, that, and the third. Just saying he was going to expose him. He was diddied out like a motherfucker. Like, Funk Flex is, is Diddy's number one pom-pom holding cheerleader out here. That's facts. Like, he, he through the social network posts, he lightly kind of more and more got into it at first it was like light work like he he, he was kind of supporting it he then more and more to the point where he was just bashing the flock out of shine with this hulu uh documentary which i believe it's out if it is have you seen it i haven't seen it and like more or less many people and yo that's a banger off shine second album godfather buried alive more or less the joint with foxy brown goes higher body Comment some of your favorite other Shine tracks or do you think Shine's whack? Like, let me know below in the comments. But anyways, um, more or less, people have got at him about, you know, uh, flip-flopping. You know, coming at Diddy, saying Diddy hung him out to dry, uh, cooperated against him, just did things with his legal st strategy that flucked up Shine's case and you know had him convicted and things of that nature and then uh came home ended up eventually embracing him you know what i mean and then collab with him numerous different times there's a time that she was talking about at the 21 was at bet awards but you heard him it was a power play for the belize flag to 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 come down for the world to see uh he did a revolt interview you know as shine is pushing into this political uh world that he's been in i think it's called the leader of the opposition is like a movement that he's trying to push because of his felony uh doing prison time he cannot push to become the prime minister of belize which his father was for many years but is not now and he's trying to following his father's footsteps and i i think that's part of what the opposition is trying to do change that law or rule or criteria or whatever for being prime minister and uh you know he goes and speaks about gang violence and things of that nature and uh he also got a big revolt interview where he was talking about the political side of things and whatnot and you know that is a a big platform that he did with Diddy a lot of people saw that and what I'm getting at is I feel shine right because what I'm saying is shine uh estranged from his father the prime minister of Belize right lived in New York with his mom uh you know was rocking with Diddy, got arrested, only had a green card. He was in the streets. He caught that case. He did the nine years or whatever. Uh, as soon as he got out, ICE picked him up. He gets deported. And you heard him. Like, Diddy wasn't there for his mother. Diddy didn't give her any assistance or, or check up on her or, or help dry her tears. And they weren't on good terms. And, 
Like, that's another thing, too. Diddy, a lot of times, when ex-artists would say things, he acts like, oh, what am I supposed to take care of him forever? Like, there was a situation with Black Rob, right? Black Rob put out some hits. Black Rob, R.I.P. Uh, he went to prison after having smash hits, right? Just like G-Dep did and came home. Uh, a changed man gave his life to God, turned himself in. That's a wild situation, you know what I mean? Uh, they call it dancing with the devil. You know, having that Diddy deal, being on Bad Boy. Mark Curry has told us all about it numerous times, but I'm saying just like Shine was like, yo, if I'm your brother, where were you there? Like you couldn't look out for my dukes. You couldn't dry her tears. You couldn't make sure she's okay. And like with Black Rob, like Diddy said this in the past, Oh, I'm supposed to take care of people forever. Like, listen, there was a situation I saw where, again, Black Rob got caught up in a case, did prison time after the fame. And this man needed medicine that he was talking about because he got dropped from the health insurance. He couldn't get certain meds that, that he needed. And as we saw Black, Black Rob pass away a couple of years ago, it was very sad to see uh, he was not in good shape. And uh, from my understanding, Mark Curry and Diddy got together and I guess they buried the hatchet um, as they laid Black Rob to rest. But this is just things like whether or not people are still making hits for you and is like, like, oh, are they still making me money? Like if someone made you a lot of money and they go to prison, you could look out for their mom or just make sure she's OK. You could do the bare minimum. You could you could keep Black Rob on the health insurance so he can get what he needs to survive when he was locked up. You feel me? Like Black Rob came home later on and dropped another project on Bad Boy. I want to say around 05, 06. That was that was still fire. Like I flucked with it. And then later he sound signed to duck down records but what i'm getting at is just like i said people accuse shine of flip-flopping the guy did all this prison time after being estranged from his father growing up in the streets uh coming home you know uh trying to find himself getting deported immediately after doing the nine jump offs having to get picked up immediately by I sit in a federal detention center in Batavia to New York, get deported to Belize where he's been. And uh, then he gets into more into his faith and he uh, seemingly leaves the rapping alone after a few years of him being home. And he, he's more into his faith and is on to a different part of his life and, and forgives uh, uh, Diddy and collaborates with him. And now he's into this political ish, like, I respect that he's keeping it a buck. Hey, um, Diddy and me, like, I don't really rock with him like that, but more or less, I got what I could get out of him. I got that big revolt interview to push my political uh, movement out to the people. I, I did the, the, the performance at the 21 jump off so the flag of Belize could come down for the whole world to see. Uh, I had to get what I could get. And like he said, he moved on. He's not harboring those type of uh, feelings, that negativity anymore. You know, he ain't in the streets. He's he's a, a grown man. He's in a different stage of, in, in his life. And he's trying to, uh, I believe, be, eventually become the prime minister of Belize or do things to help his country. And he moved on and let that negativity go and got what he could get out of Diddy. I respect it that he said it, you know what I mean? But he's just keeping it real. Hey, I rocked with him. We did some deals where we both got what we wanted out of it. And uh, I kept it pushing, but like my brother, you know, come on, like, let's, let's, let's be serious. And I don't think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I haven't seen the documentary. Like I said, Funk Flex was out here really trying to hate on Shine. And um, I, I don't know, I just don't like that narrative a lot of times where if artists that were with Diddy um, come back and work with him again, and then if they say something later, their opinion or say something negative, people are like, oh, why didn't you say that to Diddy? First off, how you know they didn't hash it out with Diddy and have a face to face? And second off, like they're trying to get paid. They're trying to do what they got to do. You know what I mean? So I don't know, this interview was shine here. Uh, I like the way that it was put a power play. You know what I mean? In, in the end, we see what's going on with Diddy, the case, share your thoughts about that in the comments 
but also like what I was saying about Black Rob, about Shine and all this, and Funk Flex, you know, rocking the pom-poms, hard body for Diddy. You know what I mean? Let's chop it up about it all. Again, Mark Curry told us it's dancing with the devil. Just because someone has something to say um, and they went back and did some work with someone that like, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. Diddy's out here trying to act like he's the man's brother, manipulating him and whatnot, you know, but I like the way Shine broke this down here. And I don't know, I, I think Funk Flex is tripping and on some hater-ish. I don't know if he's implicated in this Diddy case or something like that. There was a, a weird Buster Rhymes interview out there too that had people being like, yo, damn, Bust, are you like, are you implicated in this somewhere? Why are you acting all funny style like that? You know, like what's Funk Flex's deal? You know what I'm saying? Hit the comments, let's talk about it all. Sub up, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace and God bless y'all.